See, we got some nice marks here. What's going on there? These fish, they're right on the bottom. You see some strong reds in there, some yellows, some greens. What's happening there? Those fish are sitting right on that edge. That red mark, that's a strong return. Odds are that's a big fish. Your smaller return, they're uh, not as thick, not as dense. So then you're looking at much uh, weaker return. So it's probably some smaller fish. But there's definitely a couple of fish sitting there on the bottom. These fish are belly to the bottom. You know, just literally crawling along. It's a good ambush spot for them with the water being a little bit stained. To keep it real simple, red is a big fish. Then yellow would be like you're, you're a little smaller. And then green would be a small fish or a school bait fish. So remember those three colors and uh, you're definitely going to catch bigger fish. There we go. Oh, this could be a good one. Oh, I think this is a good one. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <That's a good> <laughs> one. <laughs> that is a cow. Mm, come here, dude. You big wallowing beast. The epitome of a dumb angler. I have a net that I just leaned on. Oh, look at that pig. You know, it truly amazes me just how good this fishery is. You know, you can come out for a few hours and uh, throw some coffee tubes out and catch fish after fish like this. You know you're on a good fishery when you can catch a bunch of fish like this and be like, eh, it's a decent one. Oh, November is not just for football. It's for hunting big smallies. Don't put your boat away. Get out in the water and get you some of these. Oh. You know you've had a good day when your tube ends up looking like that at the end of the day. That dude right there has been chewed up, spit out, and whooped on.